What we're going to look at here is a depletion of natural resources and liquidating dividends. And our example here is where Corporation A is a mining company which owns one major asset, and that's going to be a minerals mine here, and does not expect to purchase additional property. It may gradually distribute to the stockholders their capital investment by paying a liquidating dividend here, which are dividends greater than the amount of accumulated net income that it holds on its books here. What we have to do is we must distinguish between dividends that are a return of capital and those that are not. Because the dividend is a return of the investor's capital contribution, the company is issuing a liquidating dividend. And since the mine is nearly depleted of its minerals and the investor's capital investment is being returned to them. So this is what we have here. Corporation A declares a cash dividend of $6 million and has only accumulated net income, or and that's retained earnings here, of $3.3 three million dollars. So let's go and look at our example here and how we'd uh, record that here. And then again we're looking at a liquidating dividend here. And just to make a point here, uh, we have accumulated depletion here of this mine on our balance sheet here of uh, four point uh, four million two hundred thousand dollars. So in this case the mine is approximately eighty percent here depleted or it's mined out and there's uh, it's being uh, um, closed down here after we get the uh, total uh, minerals out of it here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to issue a liquidating dividend here. And this is done here. Let's just look at here. We've got this asset on our balance sheet, our cash account here. And then we have our equity account here on our balance sheet. And we're just going to be looking at the additional paid in capital here and also our retained earnings and how we divvy up this dividend here between the uh, additional paid in capital and the retained earnings. So uh, issued a cash dividend here. Remember it was $6 per share here at 1 million shares here for $6 million. So uh, there was 1 million shares outstanding and it was a cash dividend issued at $6 per share here. So and what we have here if we go over and look at our retained earnings account here, uh, this is where uh, we have a cash dividend here of six million dollars that was credited or paid out here to the stockholders but we only had retained earnings here of 3.3 or three million three hundred thousand dollars and this again uh, what we would do here is we had a credit in our retained earnings here of three million three hundred thousand dollars we would debit that out or remove that off our books here for this cash the portion here of this cash dividend for that goes against the retained earnings of three point three million dollars here and uh, the other remaining amount here would go to against the additional paid in capital account here so there was sitting uh, at the beginning of the year here at 20x1 five million five hundred thousand dollars in the additional paid in capital here and what we have to do is we just have to come up with the remaining balance here of that six million dollar cash uh, payment that was made here for that cash dividend and that would be two a million seven hundred thousand dollars so we would debit or reduce our additional paid in capital here for two million seven hundred thousand dollars so let's just go look at this again here in these terms here. And what we have to do is we must inform the stockholders that we've done this. We've uh, made this liquidating, uh, issued this liquidating dividend here. And what we do here again, just to review it, we debit the additional paid in capital here or reduce the additional paid in capital here for the portion related to the original investment and that is the return of the capital investment. So this is how we had it split up here again just to see it here. We had that $6 per share dividend here and that had to be divided up here. First we reduced our retained earnings here since um, we didn't have enough retained earnings to cover the entire cash dividend here of six million dollars. We just uh, closed out any retained earnings that we had here sitting on the book so it was uh, three million three hundred thousand again divided here by one million shares. So that equals three dollars and thirty uh, cents a share here for the return on the investment here taking that from the um, capital or the cash dividend of six dollars per share leaves us here two dollars and seventy cents per share here of the uh, liquidating dividend or a reduction here to additional paid in capital so again we had two million seven hundred thousand here um, 
uh, that, that went against the additional paid in capital here to reduce the equity on the balance sheet here divided by 1 million share gives us the two dollars and seventy cents here per share here of liquidating dividend here so just um, the distinction here when you're in this case we were dealing with this uh, a mining operation where there was one asset involved and they weren't going to continue on with it and they just the investors wanted to get their money back so uh, the accounting requires uh, first debiting or uh, reducing your retained earnings for whatever was sitting in your retained earnings account here and since uh, the dividend was greater than the accumulated net income or the retained earnings we have then the balance amount goes to reduce the additional paid in capital or debit the additional paid in capital here so six million for example we had six million dollars uh, credit to reduction of our cash account so the debiting amount here would go to the balance of the retained earnings first gets closed to whatever's sitting in that account and then the remaining account here goes against the additional paid in capital here so that's just what we would call a liquidating dividend here